hello Halloween Town how tours this, this, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this mic because I feel rather uh, very 70s game show host with it <laughs> uh, <laughs> so if I have it clipped here you can't hear me and then what's the point of having it but like I said I as I'm speaking I will speak into this and then when you don't need instruction, um, it'll just hang out on my shirt. Today, it is the utmost miserable out, but I will take the opportunity to make the silhouette of the mayor in my front door. I went ahead and just sketched out with a Sharpie. I don't know what I'm looking for, and so this would be the image from the street, which means you have to do the reversal on the inside. So that's why I like doing it in Sharpie because see, I, I can see because the Sharpie bleeds through how I need to do it. And also being dyslexic kind of helps with things in reverse too. Um, I will be using, no, I've, never painted on windows before. Um, I just was like, oh, acrylic paint, paint, that'll work. Uh, my husband was like, no, you're not painting on the window. And I said, oh, it's going to come off. It comes off with soap and water. And he's like, are you sure it's not going to stay in the windows? So that made me have to Google um, seasonal art paint, painting on windows. And what they recommend is best. So now I can spread my wealth of knowledge with you. Tempera paint and acrylic paint. Acrylic paint's gonna be thicker. The problem with tempera paint is that it's going to crack. Um, so I would suggest using uh, acrylic paint. You, I cleaned my window early this morning with non-ammonia uh, Windex. So I don't know if it's vinegar based, it didn't say, but I know there's vinegar based too, which probably will work. I did not investigate that. It just said some window cleaners um, won't let the paint adhere. So I'm guessing the natural route would be the better option. And I just let it, it's been, you know, I wiped it clean and it's been drying for probably like a good three hours. Uh, I have various paintbrushes. This one's a little stiffer and it's wider. This is a soft bristle and it has two angles on each side and then a sponge brush. Um, I think I'm going to have to be very mindful of what direction I'm painting in. Um, to, I, don't, I don't know, I might have to paint it twice to get a better coverage. Really don't know. So as I was saying, I'm gonna fly by the seat of my pants and see what happens. And you can learn from my mistakes, or you can say, "Hey, that worked with me," and hurrah, a win for Halloween Town. So without further delay, let's get painting the silhouette of the mayor for our Halloween Town. even with my family around. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear me or not. Um, so I just filled the kegger up with some paint. I got my door ready. And from this point on till I'm done, uh, I'm just gonna kind of do that uh, rabbit speed with some music and, and follow along. So here we go.
All right, I'm trying to think back in my memory what he exactly looks like. Um, I'm just gonna stop the video, take a quick look at just uh, his eyes, whether I got that right, and then um, have his coat and his spider. Come to look, and then I uh, shall return to finish that. So I confused the two faces. Um, yeah, I, I'm gonna try to correct that. And uh, just, this is what happens when you try to do things from memory, well, at least for me. <laughs> no problem. All right, Mayor wrap-up time. That was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed making him. A uh, few recommendations if you're going to do this. Uh, one, definitely acrylic paint. Two, pick up a sponge brush from the dollar store. Three, definitely draw him out on a piece of paper with a sharpie because the last thing you want is to walk out your door turn around and he's the reversal of uh what you thought he was going to be save yourself that headache um yeah i was not expecting or intending on adding any of those line details to him uh i just kind of did it because I'm going to add a light in my door jam to backlight him. Um, I have not gotten it yet. I need to go get it. And I needed it to be battery operated <clears throat> because I don't want a lot of cords like running in and out of my doors, um, being that it is the front door. So my thinking was with the lines, it's gonna show extra detail. Like I'm hoping the, the light shines through it 
and shows those details. I don't know if it's going to work, but in my head, uh, it, it makes sense. But then again, sometimes my brain doesn't make sense and I'm fine with testing that theory out. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I wasn't able to show you what he looked like from the outside because it's too light out right now. And I don't have anything to backlight him uh, so you can kind of see it. Um, let me see what I can do for my next video um, to kind of include that. Uh, so for now, thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, I do have a Facebook page page paint a facebook page it's halloween town howl and it is the same picture i use for my youtube channel so you will not mistake that um yeah i i, I set that up because i really want to see what you guys are doing i want you guys to be able to send pictures to me um because i don't know if you can through youtube i like I said, I'm low tech. I don't know. And I'm watching my hand. And once again, I just, I don't know how, like, I know how I get paint on me because I, I'm a mess. Um, back to wrapping, 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 wrapping. Oh, I can't talk today or any day. I just broke it down. Anyway. Check out my Facebook page. Send me pictures of what you're working on. I would love to see it. And I'll catch you next time because I'm going to be working on my Oogie Boogie Trick or Treat wheel tomorrow with all of this crapzilla weather going on. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing. So I'll catch you next time on Halloween Town How To's. Guys, get making, get creative, and I'll check you out next time. Bye bye. Alright, so I went and picked up a purple strobe light just to see if, um, you know, my thoughts with the outlines being lit up, it does, it's just, it's not enough. So, I don't, I don't, I might have to do LED, um, strip lights on this or something. So I have to figure that out, um, but his teeth are showing, um, spider showing, and I think lit properly, this is going to look really cool. So I'm sorry it's not like, it's not a complete win, but it's not a complete loss either. It is uh, fixable.